It's falling over. It's gonna fall. It's going. <laughs> All right, everybody, for these grilled cheese sandwiches, obviously you need bread. So I got a loaf of bread. Uh, I think I paid 89 cents for it. I actually got two of them, just in case I run out of bread. And I've got some sliced cheese here. I actually got an extra slight pack of sliced cheese just in case I didn't have enough. Because I want to try to get as many as possible into my freeze dryer. I have here original American slice, a four cheese blend, and a pepper jack blend. So what I've done is I'll do two slices per sandwich. I've just alternated them, so all I have to do is grab and go. Over here is a mayonnaise alternative because you can't use butter to freeze dry. Um, obviously you've got to butter your bread in order to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Or at least that's how I do it. So I have this mayonnaise alternative. So I'll go ahead and do one sandwich, show you what I'm doing. Uh, I will then add this little, I filmed a video of me making this, so I'll add that in. And then I'll get them all cooked up and I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them and then we will go from there. So I can't use butter or mayonnaise on my grilled cheese sandwiches because the high fat content. So obviously I need something to get that golden crisp, you know, when you make a grilled cheese sandwich, you know, it's got the, I don't know, the buttery glaze look on it. So I am going to make a uh, batch of this mayonnaise in with this video so what you need for this recipe is eight ounces of softened cream cheese which I've got right here I went ahead and took it out of the package it looks sloppy because it has been frozen uh, let's see one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice quarter teaspoon of mustard which doesn't seem a lot one teaspoon of vinegar half teaspoon half pinch of salt I don't know I didn't write that down and a quarter cup of milk. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this stuff, taste it and go from there. So cream cheese obviously, lemon juice to add the tang I'm assuming. Those are out of control. One teaspoon of vinegar. I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. Why? Because it's what I had access to. The reason why I think he came up with this recipe is because, well, one, you can't freeze dry mayonnaise or butter. You know what? Let's do a half teaspoon of mustard. I'm gonna modify it. And I think what he if I remember watching the video, he just took a mayonnaise recipe and took the eggs out. Oh my goodness, my mustard's almost out. What a shame. Alright, well, that's a mess. And we're going to add a little bit of salt. salt because you can add too much and you can't take it out once you add it. It doesn't necessarily taste like mayonnaise but you definitely get a good alternative especially if you're freeze drying. And our cream cheese came out of the freezer so it was lumpy. Frozen cream cheese does that weird thing. I think that'll work. All right. Dirty a spoon. See what I think. Well, it doesn't taste like mayonnaise, but it is delicious. All right, so we're going to go ahead and We'll butter up these sandwiches and get them going. Stay with us. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little thin coat of the mayonnaise alternative on the bread, just like a normal grilled cheese sandwich. I 
probably have to make some more of that, but I will when it comes to it. So then what I'll do is I will throw this down on the skillet, add my two slices of cheese, put the other top one on top, and cook it from there. Alright everybody, there they are. I got all my grilled cheese sandwiches done. I ended up with roughly 20 of them. I did have to make another batch of my mayonnaise alternative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some of these into fours and the others I will cut into nine pieces. So I can make them into croutons or bite-sized snacks. Alright, so here I got it all cut up. I just cut these sandwiches into nine pieces. And then I cut these in the fours over here and I'll pop these in the freezer let them freeze overnight so now I got dishes to do wait I got dishes to get done trail finder Hi. come do the dishes there we go everybody freeze-dried grilled cheese sandwiches you can use them as croutons you can use them as just snacks the way they are so when I get done with this portion of the video, at the end of the video, I will go over the cost comparison of making your own to buy in. Oh, wait a minute. You can't buy freeze-dried grilled cheese sandwiches anywhere. You have to make them. So here we go. Uh, they're done. Dry. I've actually got Trail Finder here. She's going to do a taste with me. And my wife is going to do a taste, but she'll do it off screen because... All right. Reposition the camera and we'll get her reaction. Okay, so I did just regular American cheese. I had a four cheese blend and a pepper jack, and I don't know what's what. So she could get pepper jack because pepper jack was hot and spicy. So take one, bite into it, and tell me what you think. I can. If she can. It's hard. I'm gonna grab one too. I'm grabbing a in piece. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Well, <laughs> so what do you think? Different. Different. So. This is hard to chew. Yeah. It'd be good in soup. So, here we go. Alright, everybody. Let me get this bagged up. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe and enjoy the outside.